Hello, welcome back to Conscious Evolution. We'll start to do a reading here. Jessica walked away. She went to the car. But I think we're getting ready to do a, a reading. Uh, I was pulling cards to... I was going to do the Divine Masculine side of the story here. We'll see what's going on. This is kind of interesting to me because these two cards just kind of popped out. Let's see if we can get it on there. So, we got financial and material changes. So, for the Divine Masculine, you're... You have gone through or are going through or are about to go through some financial and material changes. There's a lot of different colors in this card, which I see as a lot of different chakra energy. You know, there's the, it's like almost indigo, which is like your inner wisdom, your third eye chakra. Mm, nice. And then the red or orange, I guess it's almost both. That's like your base chakra activity. Your passion, your strength, your, you know, it's a survival energy too. And then the purple. Hmm. So that's going to be like your crown chakra. Crown chakra is opening up. I got that again. Oh, wow. Crown and third eye, so some base and upper chakra action going on here. There's a lot of changes. You're experiencing a lot of different energetic shifts in your life right now, I would imagine. That is intense. I feel for you. I know exactly what you're going through. I guess that's almost like blue or indigo again. Uh, but these are all upper upper chakras, th third eye and crown. And then we got our base, which is like our primal instincts, our survival creativity, passion, you know, strength, emotional pleasure, sex. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Fine masculine is going through some changes here. I like your being split apart too which kind of further confirms the the chakra activations or activity going on here you know just kind of dividing that part of the hand all the parts of the hand together are, are part of the whole just like uh the christ consciousness every one of us is you know separate and together we are the christ consciousness but we aren't really separate that's just an illusion of separatism that we you know experience here to have our experience on this planet the next card that came out was an emotional withdrawal. So maybe you've kind of gone into a hermit mode here, going through all these chakra activations. I can see that as, as what's possibly going on, getting grounded down in, on the earth. There's persons at the beach here. Let me show you the card. This person's at the beach, just chilling, sitting there at the beach, grounding, praying, getting in touch with oneself. There's a little bit of a rainbow aura on the back side here. It's really interesting. There's a handprint in the sand too. That's very interesting. So maybe it's like, uh, you know, that Jesus photo. And there's two footprints in the sand, but only one person walking. Like you're never alone. Spirit's always with you, you know. God, your angels, your guardians are always with you. And so, but definitely going through all those chakra activations would, would throw a person into an energetic frenzy if you had all those active activations going on in a very short period of time that'd be a wild ride it's something similar to what i've been experiencing this past year so i can relate to that for sure i'm really drawn to this rainbow aura here it's beautiful and they're also at the water so that's a lot of feminine energy or the waves crashing down and grounding it's beautiful Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just recording. Hey, y'all. Hey, this is Jessica. Hey, there she is. <laughs> so, can you see? All right, there we go. So, I just started doing a divine masculine reading. All right. And this is where I'm at. All right, don't let me stop you. No. So, so you're getting grounded, you're getting in touch with nature possibly you're just just getting grounded and getting more in touch with spirit more in touch with yourself learning 
more about your energy and your power with all these chakras going on here. Learning how to piece yourself back together. Ooh, I like that. But spirit's there with you. Spirit's always with you. And you're learning that, or you have learned that. And you're grateful and thankful for that. And you're just getting balanced. That's what I see this as. You're really getting balanced. So let's get some more information. Where do I want to go? I think I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to use a couple different decks here. Switch it up. Just because. So what is the Divine Masculine? What's their next step? Where are they at? Let's get a little more information on, uh, on this situation here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, how's it going? I kind of feel like Divine Masculine is still being a little bit of a hermit mode, maybe coming out of it. Let's see. What does the Divine Masculine need to know moving forward right now? All right. <clears throat> Second Chakra Archangel Ariel. Wow, look at this guy. So that's your your sacral chakra. This is more base chakra action. So here we had all the, the, the three higher chakras, your throat chakra, third eye, and your crown chakra. And now we have the one base, and now we have the second. So I kind of feel like that's adding on to that, which is your creativity, your your happiness, joy, emotional pleasures. So maybe you're you're getting getting back into the swing of things here. Maybe you're going back into the world. Wow, look at this card though. That's so beautiful. It's like she's holding a orb or a planet. It's very interesting. So you have definitely have angel guidance. It's like what I said here. You're learning that you're you're connected with spirit, and this is you know learn how to use you know spirit to help you because that's what they're there for. They're there to help you through this ascension and all these chakra activations. Definitely. All right. The next card was a fifth shot. Oh my God! You are going through some shit. <laughs> you're going through some shit right now. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Wow. So, we're back to the throat chakra. So, maybe you're really uh, learning how to speak your truth or talk about your experience or what you're going through. Maybe talk about what your feelings are. This is divine masculine. If you resonate with that as a man, that's really a difficult thing for us because we're taught our whole lives to, to fucking suck it up. You know, don't talk about your feelings. That's That's girly stuff. You know, but now you gotta you gotta talk about that stuff. You gotta get that stuff out. You know, you can't just suppress all that. It's not healthy. But look at that. So we got a lot of angel guidance going on here for sure. That's powerful stuff right there. I can understand why you go into hermit mode and be freaking out. That's a that's a whole lot of things. That's very cool. Looks like he's got the moon behind him. Maybe a planet. That's so cool. That's powerful. So you're definitely being guided. This is intense. I feel for this person. This has been my life for like the last year. <laughs> it's just going through all these activations. That's powerful. You want to do a card? Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> Why not? What's that? I was like oh preparing shuffle <laughs> yeah. the scenes all me? quietly. Me? You want me to pull a card? <laughs> Just a little experimentation here. Temperance. All right. So this is balancing feminine and masculine energy within. This is also Sagittarius energy, which is a highly spiritual sign. Um... I feel like maybe you're overcoming some kind of addictions too, and that's why you need to withdraw mm. from others. And the addictions could be anything. And just like 
Alan was just saying, you know, maybe not speaking your truth and kind of pretending like you're all right if you're not. Anything that correlates with that, because there's a merit of choices, right? <laughs> so, um, this is coming back into your power by balancing out and honoring your feminine energy, like he was saying in the beginning. This is just confirmation of that. Strong confirmation, too, with a major arcana. Because I walked up while he was talking about that. So, <laughs> same, yeah. same thing. Focusing on balancing yourself out. And you're going through a kundalini awakening with all this chakra energy. Um, being activated into your knowing, right? Knowing the truth. Knowing your truth. Your, honoring your truth. And really um, being guided by angels, too. You've got a lot of angels that are working with you at this time. That's really great. So yeah, it could be a challenging time, but it, I think that they're, what they're saying is they want you to stay optimistic here and to focus on healing your heart, your your mind, and your throat, overcoming this one-upping energy. This is a five of swords, another five energy change, chaos, conflict, could be you, you're walking away from some kind of conflict with others, mm -hmm. conflict within yourself. Just uh, not needing to, to be better than anybody else. Because that's pretty strong within the masculine collective. Is like needing to mm -hmm. be the best. and That competitiveness. Yeah. Competition. Yeah, and there's people like stabbed in the back over here. This one's crying. It's like no more of that energy. It's overcoming that by withdrawing emotionally. Walking away from anything that is... That you could be doing, no, you know, no judgment, but let's be honest, right? Huh. Something that you're, this is a call to get balanced, to walk away from energy that you're not comfortable with anymore within yourself. That's not serving you yeah. at all, or within or without. So, you know, bringing yourself to an awareness of that, overcoming it, completing it by balancing out. Spending time in nature is going to be really important, perhaps by water. You know, it doesn't have to be by a beach. It could be by a lake, a waterfall, a river, a hot tub, whatever works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, definitely overcoming that. Let's get a... I was um, thinking the same yeah? thing. Here, yeah? Here, I'll let you do it. <clears throat> very, very good. Oh, all right. Immediate. Just, yeah. All right. I've seen that card so many times in the last one? week. The morality card. I haven't seen this one yet. Morality. Wow. That's an error energy, I think. Look at that. That is an interesting card. This is the Osho Zen Tarot for anyone that's interested. We were also using the John Holland deck. Oracle cards and energy oracle cards. Hmm. Like they're really clouded, clouded in their head. Oh, I really know That's what the, the queen of, of clouds. Queen of clouds. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Number 66. That is very There's interesting. Morality. So it's like the queen of swords. Okay. In traditional tarot. Interesting. So, morality has restricted all the juice and energy of life to the narrow confines of her mind. It can't flow there, so she has become a dried up old prune. <laughs> all right, then. Her whole manner is very proper and stiff and severe, and she is always ready to see every situation as black and white, like the jewel she wears around her neck. The Queen of Clouds lurks in the minds of all of us who have been brought up with rigid ideas of good and bad, sinful and virtuous, acceptable and unacceptable, moral and immoral. That duality. It's important to remember that all these judgments of the mind are just products of our conditioning. Amen. I'm so glad we have this deck here. It's so nice. And whether our judgments are applied to ourselves or to others, they keep us from experiencing the beauty and godliness that lies within. Oh, 
There's so much coming. Okay. Only when we break through the cage of our conditioning and reach the truth of our own hearts can we begin to see life as it really is. Wow. I don't know how to say that word there. Bottom Mariah. Anyway. Bodhi Harma. Bodhi Baba. Okay. <laughs> Bodhi Harma. Bodhi Harma. Far transcends moralist. That's someone's name. Far far transcends moralist. Puritans, so-called good people, do-gooders. Uh, he has touched the very rock bottom of the problem. Unless awareness arises in you, all your morality is bogus. All your culture is simply a thin layer which can be destroyed by anybody. But once your morality has come out of your awareness, not out of a certain discipline, then it is totally different matter. Then you, will then you will respond in every situation out of your awareness. And whatever you do will be good. Awareness cannot do anything that is bad. This is the ultimate beauty of awareness. And that anything that comes out of it is simply beautiful. Is simply right. And without any effort and without any practice. So rather than cutting the leaves and the branches, cut the root. And to the... And to cut the root, there is no other method than a single method. The method of being alert, being aware, and being conscious. With the number 33 next to it. So, like, Christ consciousness. Which I mentioned earlier. Yep. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, our, our conditioning, you know, that's what, that's what so much of the awakening is, 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 is you're purging that conditioning, those things that we've been taught from birth, you know, those things that, that aren't serving us now that you're awakening to your truth. It doesn't, doesn't vibrate the same frequency of the knowledge that you now have. That's, that's beautiful. What do you think? What do you got? Um, well, with the Queen of Swords, and that's kind of like the finishing card. So we have Sagittarius energy here, and then Queen of Swords, so that's uh, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that's that mental energy, right? Mm -hmm. The mind. Queen of Swords is about, she's very supportive, she's very loyal. Um, those people tend to be loyal and supportive especially of anything that has to do with intellect. So being like a shrewd business person, you know? Mm. Um, so that's definitely going to resonate for a lot of the men out there that are watching this. Yes. Because a lot of men definitely have the shrewd business skills. <laughs> yeah, yes. Also conditioning. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. They're all part of the program. Another thing that came through is like, if you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for anything. You know, it's like you really have to stand for something. And if it's your truth that you're learning to do it, you know, with your newfound set of principles, your new morals, if you will, you know, do everything with integrity. You know, no matter what other people say to you, no matter what they call you or, or, or judge you for, you know, when people judge you, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It's, it's them projecting their their insecurities onto you so you can't take that personally you know it's only energy yes. everything is energy don't take it personal beautiful well, i think that's a great message yeah we'll leave it there yeah beautiful all right guys thanks for watching i love each and every one of you i hope this uh resonated with you if it did leave a comment below uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell because if not, you don't get the notifications. All right then. Okay, guys. I'm going to say bye. Peace out. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs>